Hey, hi traders. Good morning. This is Parthivan. Uh, <coughs> today is uh, 12th June. Yeah, 12th June. This trading ideas will be valid up to 16th June. Okay. Before I uh, proceed to the trading ideas, I just want to show you guys the Forex Factory calendars. If you see this, uh, this week, Monday, not much uh, news. Uh, news. Tuesday, which is June 13th, there's few news here, okay, Wednesday, high impact news for USD, and US Federal Fund Rate, okay, and uh, FMC statement, so this is very high impact news there, I will usually recommend all my students to take a position on Monday, a break even by Wednesday. Okay, and Thursday, Swiss franc uh, monetary policy assessment, pound selling official bank rate, which is high impact, Japanese policy rate, which is very high impact too. So, this week, a lot of activities on the market. So, and I see a lot of opportunity also. So, let's analyze the market. <coughs> okay, USD Swiss franc. If you see the chart overall, it, it have established a very clear downtrend. You see from here, it, it was trying to break this line for almost two, three months. You see, try to break, fail, try to break, fail, penetrated. So now, market is forming some kind of reversal over here. What you can do is, if at all we see a very good uh, confirmation over here, I can go short here manage my trade here if at all it penetrate higher and retest i can become a buyer up to the next target the market is forming some kind of reversal here so uh, you can focus if you buy here focus here if you sell here focus here so this is going to be the range for the usd swiss franc and gbp uh, usd what I see is market to consolidate for another couple of days. Probably can pull back up to this level. Okay. And another long bar like this. Another long bar. Can be anticipated. Okay. So at this area please look for some good confirmation and then go short euro usd many people's favorite currency pairs is it has moved almost uh, 400 pips was it 400 pips yeah okay from this point it was 700 pips okay Overall, Euro is still in uptrend and on daily chart, H4, H4 it starts to consolidate and this zone is consolidating. Uh, if you ask me, I wouldn't be going short on go, uh, Euro yet. Uh, this is still higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. A lot of bias will be coming in here. But there's no sign of bias coming in. I'll look for buying opportunity and I'll be managing my trade uh, with an upside exposure. USD JPY, no clear trend yet. USD CAT, okay, this is a very good uh, sign, confirmation. What you can do is, uh, if at all market retested again to this level, go short here. Yeah? You can go short. Or if market penetrate below at the retest, you can go short over here. Australia USD. Market form a very clear trend movement where a lot of buy sellers defending this price. Sellers become a buyer. Buyers at this point, buyers, sellers and buyers again and buyers, sellers, 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 sellers. sellers. And they become buy again. So what I'm anticipating is a pullback up to this level. A lot of buys coming. 
or slightly lower and you can become a buyer with a confirmation to bring the price higher. Australia New Zealand dollar which presents a very good opportunity. If you see a confirmation over here, you can become a buyer up to this level, manage your trade. And then if at all it penetrates higher and retest with the confirmation, you become a buyer and, and next target is up to this level. A lot of sellers can enter over here. Okay. Let's all see the user dollar. GBP yen. Actually, this is self for confirmation where <coughs> a lot of sellers already in the market. At the pullback, <coughs> those who are skillful enough, you can manage your trade. Even without confirmation at a lower time frame, you can see setup and then go short. The next target is this one. This is about 270, 270 pips. Like I mentioned earlier to my team members, it's a very good area to go short. A lot of sellers entering the market, you can target this level. So, about 900 pips. Okay. Euro GBP, I think we took uh, the weekly trade base a couple of weeks back. Sorry, each target, you can close your position and look for some reversal sign over here. And next target is this one. So, I'm anticipating pounds selling to appreciate here against zero. If at all it penetrates higher at the retest, I'll become a buyer, and that means euro is appreciating against pounds selling. Next target. So, this is the, in the center. So, just wait, I have to wait for another one more week to make the decision. Euro OD on the weekly chart is a confirmation. And any pullback, you can go short and then focus here and target this one. This is actually a counter trend on a weekly chart. On a daily chart, there's no confirmation yet, so manage your trade well with the confirmation. Euro JPY, uh, please observe this area. Uh, this is a very clear reversal sign. But there's no confirmation yet. It's kind of a choppy year, but I uh, need a couple of observations, probably one or two days. A uh, good reversal sign is anticipated here. Yeah? Eurocat, a very clear trend movement where high, low, high, low, high, low. There's no confirmation here. With a confirmation, with a banker's sign, you can bring the price higher. Euro digital dollar, it's a very clear price action story. Market have reversed. At this level, look for some confirmation, which I do see some confirmation, but it's not valid yet. We can become a buyer and bring the price to this level. This level. Okay. And GBP RD market have reversed it will be pulled back a lot of sellers will be coming in here and this week we have a high impact news and if the news is very strong we can see another drop on pound sterling new zealand canadian canadian dollar okay overall market is a very clear uptrend which is high low high low high low high low with the confirmation, I will become a long and bring the price higher. If at all market drop below this at the retest, I will go short and bring the price down. GBP Kennedy Dollar Okay, GBP Kennedy Dollar See, market have reversed and a pullback, huge uh, sell off to place over here at a higher price. So this is a confirmation as a pullback You can go short if at all you have opportunity market pullback up to this level you can take uh, uh, To go short at this area or this zone, this zone. Okay, this is a good opportunity New Zealand yen 
I'll look for see very clear price action. Sorry, market try to break, fail, try to break, fail, penetrated, try to break again, fail, try to break again, fail, try to break again, fail, penetrated. So that'll be a retest. A lot of buyers will be coming in here. Okay, GBP neutral dollar. Okay. Uh, market have reversed here and it already hit this bottom where a very valid major key line. I know that will be a reversal. If you even if even I don't see any confirmation, I'll go in here because uh, there's a good uh, reversal uh, sign is being established here on a lower time frame like a H4. There's a sign, so you can go long. And then manage your trade well, stop loss here. Next target is this one. So, okay, guys, uh, <coughs> just uh, bear in mind that uh, there's a high impact news. Try to reduce your risk exposure during high impact news. A lot of traders I, I, I met, met over the weekend, a lot of uh, traders got wiped off in gold and a couple of uh, pairs like uh, Euro pairs and Paul Sterling. Not our students were. Uh, different school uh, of thoughts so they, they, they uh, practice differently the like a uh, scalping uh, some indicator traders so they got hit badly over the last week so what we do is we stay out of the market during this kind of news so since I stay out of the market I should have saved my capital so I'm going in this week see in forex really what is important is how much it's not how much money you make is important whether are you keeping your capital safe for the next day so uh, last week uh, just give you a lot illustration a lot of trader uh, like uh, this guy got up a ten thousand dollar account he lost almost six thousand dollar which is sixty percent he took a high risk on the news is a fundamentalist so that news one single incident have affected sixty percent of his equity whereas on uh, price action traders like us we distribute our uh, our probability of winning into uh, chances into many trades and manage trade. But during last week, we reduced our exposure to zero or ten percent or twenty percent, where we take very minimal trade. Because I did like that, I saved my ten percent or twenty percent of my capital from uh, bad exposure. So it's very important how you manage your money and your exposure during uh, uh, high impact news. Okay, guys, uh, for gold, uh, if you see, it's a very clear, uh, this is very clear price action story. See, this, this is a confusion taking place here. Okay, guys, I think you should t uh, observe gold too. Gold. What I see is uh, there's a limitation taking place. Market can reach between this or penetrate higher retest and the retest you can become a buyer, buyer over here and bring the price higher. Or another another side is market reach here, drop and the retest you can become a seller. And bring the price down okay thank you guys safe trade and uh, good luck